So Gotham Knights finally added new content after like, I don't even know, like six months of nothing. Oh, and uh, the way they marketed it was just absolutely garbage, of course, just usual. And it wasn't anything special or even new. It was just the, the Kelvin incident or whatever, the 50 stages arena, you know, probably some new arenas. And then the, the boss battles with Harley and Mr. Freeze and some of them together and Clayface and literally no new villains, no nothing new and, or interesting like that. Um, it, it's just so bizarre, you know, because this game is just, it's everything that they could have done wrong, they did wrong, you know, even the DLC they did wrong. Even if you could even call this DLC, it's just really just shoving what they already had and putting it into what they already already had. You know what I mean? It's like, holy shit, how lazy can they possibly have been with this DLC? Like, goddamn, bro. They could have given us literally anything. There's a whole mythos of rogues from Batman's mythology, and you choose Clayface, Mr. Freeze, and Harley? Like, what in the hell are they even thinking? It's, it's just bizarre. Beyond bizarre. And I genuinely just don't get what this whole idea is for this game like what what are they really trying to achieve here you know what i mean like what was the end goal for this actual game i swear they even said that they would give us proper post-launch content maybe i'm just crazy maybe i'm just assuming too much i got my hopes up too much for this game which is bizarre because i i was shitting on this game the whole time when this game was being marketed so it's just it's even just bizarre now to see that even the dlc that's came that's came out it's even worse than what you could even expect. It's just so... You can't play that on your own, by the way. You need a group of four people. Otherwise, it's completely tedious and just so fucking boring. I can't do it, dude. Like, I, I've gotten to a point where I'm just... I'm gonna throw my console out the window. Because I'm not gonna play this shit. Come on. And it's just... It, the game is just not fun. There's no replayability to it. You know? The only reason why you would do it is if you're really trying to test your patience. And, um, you know, the, I remember seeing the marketing of this game. It's something new, something fresh. It's really nothing new. It's just, you know, a looter, shooter with superheroes. And uh, a, a very, very boring story. And awful post-launch content that completely tanks the game. I, I don't I don't think I can th I can't think of anybody who's talking about this. I literally looked that shit up on YouTube, and Batman Arkham Videos has like twenty eight thousand views. When Batman Arkham Videos is getting twenty eight thousand views on his videos, you know something's wrong. When nobody else is making videos that's getting or cracking like ten thousand views, it's nobody gives a shit about this DLC. Nobody does. It's unfortunate, and I I. I just don't understand why they couldn't just do more of the story content that they did with the villains. They had the formula right there. All they had to do was make new interesting enemies that aren't annoying and fucking god awful, potentially, hopefully, and then give us a new villain that is doing crazy shit throughout Gotham. Give us three new villains. Give us four new villains. I don't fucking know. But Jesus, why would you give us the same villains that you've already put into... Like, you, first off, you didn't even really put him in the story. The only one that mattered in the story was Harley for, like, one second. And that was it. They were all side missions. I just... I can rant and rave about this all day. The logical fucking leaps that they went to, to completely shit on their own game is just bizarre. And they make it easy to hate. They make it so easy to hate. That's why a lot of people aren't talking about it anymore. It's because it's just... It's so easy to hate. And people don't like playing what they don't hate. And people don't like playing what is forgettable and not fun. Which is exactly what Arkham Knight is. No dialogue moments are fun or re remember, rememberable. I, I, I'm making up words now. Because it's so hard to think about the fucking game. I'm trying to think about moments. There's there's nothing besides the Batman scenes. It's, it's just so bizarrely bad. They should have just brought Batman back. That DLC would have fucking made so much money just bring batman back with two three more villains and some skins and you would have you would have fucking made so much money no one gives a fuck if you promise that he isn't there just say that in the last second of the lazarus scene he bails out of the fucking bat wing into the lazarus pit and survives i don't fucking know 
you could have done so many things so many better things than what you did now and it's just oh it's sad hopefully they they get their bearings you know they actually do something that's a i don't want to say worthwhile that's just mean but i, I want to see something like actually good out of wb montreal god forbid they fucking make a superman game i don't know why people actually want that to happen that's they're not the right fit they're not the right team um it's, it's, it, no just don't I, I i can go through a bunch of reasons why but just do do not do that i'll probably make a video about the super Eight game soon but just don't do it um i i think teen titans is a good idea they could do that give us kid flash and superboy give us super powered villains or uh, characters and give us interesting stories kind of like guardians of the galaxy you know for forget the fucking gotham knights shit open world whatever rpg give us some story content and give us some interesting gameplay. Otherwise, stop, WB Montreal. Just stop. Just stop with Gotham Knights. Throw the game in the dumpster. Delete all the files you have on it and on your computers. It's over. It's over. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.